Reykjavik is surrounded by spectacular natural scenery, but one man-made landmark dominates the skyline. The Church of Halgrimur, 75 meters high and one of Iceland's tallest structures. It was consecrated in 1986. Here we meet Clara Hodiamont. A native of southern Germany, she came to Reykjavik to study. She originally wanted to stay for one year, but it's now been six. I love this building. It's very modern, very beautiful, and very understated. It's supposed to reflect the Icelandic landscape. You can see that very well on the basalt columns. I like them a lot. Clara is fascinated by all things Icelandic. That includes the local handicrafts. This shop belongs to the Icelandic Knitting Society, if I can translate it that way. Here you can have a traditional Icelandic pullover knitted for you. You can either go in and choose one or order one according to your own design and color combination. They're great because they're very warm and even slightly water resistant. It's a very comfortable piece of clothing. Six years ago, Reykjavik was still considered a boom town. The global financial crisis brought its share of troubles to Iceland, but many sectors continue to forge ahead. One of them is fashion and jewelry design, which enjoys an international reputation. Elm is a successful Reykjavik label, especially in the United States, where it can be found in more than a hundred stores. Now its sights are set on the European market, beginning in Paris. Fashion designer Erna Stina and two friends started the label 13 years ago. Their workshop is right behind the Reykjavik storefront. The Icelandic woman is very demanding. So the, the little shop on Laugavegur has been our trial, you know, outlet for Elm. So we sell our things, we sort of feel what, what the Icelandic woman accepts, we know will, you know, be successful abroad. So it's our test market, is Iceland. 120,000 people live in Reykjavik, a modest number for a capital city. By German standards, it's definitely a small city, but it feels like a major metropolitan center. Reykjavik's international flair was enhanced last year with its new concert and opera house called the Harpa. It features spectacular glass facades. The two sides facing the ocean are designed to resemble fish scales. Nearby, locals enjoy one of the city's favorite snacks. The hot dog stand has hungry customers waiting day and night. This is Iceland's best loved hot dog stand and the most famous. Bill Clinton ate a hot dog here once. It's called Bjarin's Best Pulser, or the city's best sausage. The Höfte House is another of Reykjavik's world-renowned landmarks. In 1986, Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev met here in a step towards improving relations. Night falls, but even a month before summer, it doesn't get fully dark. The busy streets signal the start of Reykjavik's lively nightlife. Clara Hodiamont is meeting friends. As usual, they'll be out till the early hours. 